So let's look at Professor Sprout's mandrakes. Now, we've determined that she has ones that have a wide body and she has ones that have a narrow body. Okay, we've also determined that narrow body is seen a lot less often than wide body. Now, she wants to get the narrow bodied ones. Okay, so how is she going to do that? We already determined that she would want to breed a narrow bodied mandrake with another narrow bodied mandrake. So if we assign the trait for body type, the letter B for its allele, okay, then what we can determine basically is that the wide body type tends to be dominant. So it would be either a BB or a big B, little b for its alleles. If the narrow body is recessive, then we would assume that the allele genotype for that one would be little b, little b. Well, let's see what happens if we take a narrow body and a narrow body and breed them together. Is it possible for us to ever get a wide body out? Maybe half the time, maybe like in Mendel's pea plant experiment, maybe it would come out 25% of the time. Let's see. So we have mom, she's going to have little b, little b. We're going to have dad, Mandrake. He's going to be little b, little b. Okay, so let's put their alleles here and see where they go for the offspring. So we already know that every offspring is going to get half of its alleles from the mom and half from the dad. So there's always four combinations when we're dealing with a single allele pair. Combination number one, this allele goes with this allele. And if we put them together, what do we get? Guess what? Little b, little b. Or this first one could go to dad's second little b, little b allele. Again, we get little b, little b. Or mom's second allele, little b, could go down here and combine with dad's first little b, and we'd get another little b. Or mom's second little b allele could combine with dad's second little b allele, and we'd get little b, little b. This, guys and gals, is that important F one generation that I talked about in the Mendel video, okay? So if we take narrow body mom, narrow body dad, they both have little b, little b as their genotype. We breed them together. We figure out if we split up these alleles from each one, so every offspring gets half from mom, half from dad, what combinations will we get in that F1 generation? We see that every single one of them is little b, little b genotype, which means we're going to see what phenotype? Narrow body, okay? All of them narrow body. You will never see a wide body because there is no big b allele to mix in here. Our F2 generation, that means this is our F1 generation the offspring from the original parents. If we breed this one and this one, or this one and this one, or this one and this one, we're going to get the same thing, guys. F2 generation also is going to be all little b, little b. And it does not matter how far down we go. We're always going to have narrow-bodied mandrakes because there is never a big b, a dominant allele in the mix to produce a wide-bodied mandrake. So I could go all the way down to the F 10 millionth generation and every one of those offspring would still be narrow-bodied with a genotype, little b, little b, a phenotype, narrow body.